John Brown, The Children of the Raid. It was a normal day in downtown Hyper City. The children were outdoors. Some were working and some were playing. <laughs> the little ones heard birds singing and the laughter of being found in the perfect hiding spot. The next morning, Jenny Chambers, who lived outside of town, headed to school not knowing of the raid. What's going on? It's the abolitionist. I better run home and tell my mother. Jenny ran home and her family fled town. Another child impacted by the raid was Randolph Barton. He wanted to meet with John Brown out of curiosity. He wanted to hear John Brown's side of the story and be on the raid. So he asked his father if he could travel the 20 mile distance to the jail where John Brown was awaiting his execution. Father, may I go? There was great curiosity to see him. My father at first refused. He let me go to Charlestown, where Brown was in prison. It's a historical occasion you may go. Randolph's dad was right. The event would be remembered for many, many years to come. When he arrived, he noted, on his table, the Bible and the Baltimore Sun, the consolations of a future life and the misery of the present in sharp contrast. We bade him good morning, shaking hands with him as we parted. It was not a handshake of forgiveness, but that of humanity. We think John Brown was an extremely motivating man. He fought for what he believed was right. He was neither good nor bad. We think he was a very brave man. He made the children begin to wonder. Should it stay this way or is it time for a change?